There are a uh, few more properties we need to uh, 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 take a look. Uh, another one, um, we call that monoton monotonicity. Uh, because we want to check if the function is increasing or decreasing over a certain interval of the domain. Let's go back to our linear function. Uh, when you uh, learn linear function, uh, you look at the, the slope, right? And if the slope is positive, what happens to the line? It goes up. It's going up. It's increasing. Okay? If the slope is positive, it can't go like this. <laughs> and if the slope is negative, it will be? So, if M, if the slope is positive, the lies is increasing from negative infinity to positive infinity. So, it's increasing for all the, uh, all the whole domain. Okay? The same thing over here, uh, if the slope is negative, it's decreasing from negative infinity to positive infinity. But that is when we talk about linear function. What if a function that is not linear. What's happening to that? For example, something like this. This is non-linear. This is non-linear because it's, it's not a lot. Okay? Then how do we check if a function is increasing or decreasing? Okay? So the concept of uh, increasing or decreasing, we call that, so on the second part of our lecture today, we call that mono. Uh, so I'm going to write over here, just increasing or oh, and decreasing uh, interval. <coughs> so at this level, college algebra, algebra, in order to check if the function is increasing or decreasing, all you need to do is you have to graph the function, okay, and look at the part of the domain where it's going up and the part of the domain where it's going down, okay. Uh, let's take a look at increasing first. Uh, I have the Graph a curve that looks like this. <clears throat> of course, by your observation, you see right away this is increasing, right? It's kind of going up. You know, we know right away it's increasing. Okay, let me call the value here, the point here, uh, x1. Over here is x2. And the output here is fx1. <coughs> Over here, fx2. Okay. Now, anyone can tell me uh, between x1 and x2, which one is greater? x2. <coughs> Right-hand side. How about between fx1 and fx2? Which one is greater? Which one? fx2. fx2, of course. Because fx2 is higher, right? So if if we have if we have x1 less than x2, and this implied this implied fx1. Less than fx2. <clears throat> then we can conclude fx is increasing. Okay, on certain part of the domain.
The reason I say it's just uncertain part of the domain because sometimes some function uh, as part of the domain is increasing, the other part is not increasing. The other part it might be decreasing. Okay, sometimes it's not increasing, nor is it decreasing. Okay, we're gonna I'm gonna give you an example and you're gonna work on that soon. So, if I look at this uh, function here, cubic function, uh, you know right away that this is increasing from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay? It's always going up, right? If we go, if we scan from left to right, it's, it's like you, uh, you start climbing uh, the mountain and you keep climbing up. Okay? So we know that's increasing from <coughs> negative infinity to uh, positive infinity. Right. How about decreasing? Uh, de decreasing. Okay, I have a graph that looks like this. Well, you know right away by your observation, this curve is decreasing. And I say uh, this is uh, x2, I say this is x1. And uh, the output here is fx1. And the output here is fx2. <coughs> and x2, I know x2 is greater, right? And if, uh, if you compare fx1 and fx2, fx1 is greater, okay? So, if x1 less than x2, and this is implied fx1 greater than fx2, so you see the difference? This is less than, less than, but this is less than greater than, okay, then fx is decreasing on certain part of the domain. Example. Let's take a look at example. It should be all right. It's not really that bad. Because uh, for this concept, all you have to do is you look at the, the graph of the function. Okay. Uh, I have um, the graph. I have a function whose graph looks like this. Do you think 
that uh, the graph I have, I have on my whiteboard represent function? Yeah. Yeah. Why? How? How do you know that? Vertical line. Vertical line. Yes. Vertical line. Because if you apply a vertical line test and you start scaling, and you will see that it cut the function at one point only. So I know that this graph represents a function. I don't know what function, but I know it represents a function. So as long as I know it represents a function, then of course we can find domain, uh, we can find domain range, we can find uh, increasing and decreasing interval. All right. Let's uh, find increasing interval first. Mm. <coughs> okay. All right, so let's start scaling from left to right. Okay, you always go from left to right. Okay. So you start from here, right? You start from here. And you draw the arrow, okay. and you see that it looks like this is going down, right? It's going down until you hit 3. So you start from 0, you go down to 3, okay? This is increasing or decreasing? Decreasing. That's decreasing. So increasing will be what? From where? From 3 to 6. Uh-huh. So we're going to put 3, comma, 6. Union would. Okay. Any other part is increasing? 9 to 13. 9 to 13. Everybody see that? Then 14 to. And 14 to? Infinity. Infinity. Yes. Everybody see from 9 to 13 is going up? See that? Here, up, going up, right? So this one going up, this is not going up. And from 14, oh, I have the arrow going up already. So 14 to infinity is going up. The reason we have infinity is because this arrow. Okay? If I have this arrow, it means it's keep extending to infinity. Everybody see that? So I can write um, 9 to um, 13. 14. Union would. Because we're talking about interval. That's why we have to use union. Um, 14 to positive. That's for increase. How about decrease? <coughs> Same thing. <coughs> so anyone can tell me where is decreasing? Zero to three. Zero to three. Zero to three. Union with? Six to nine. Six to nine. Mm -hmm. And? Uh, uh, 13 to 14. 13 to 14. Very good. Everybody see that? So if you notice, you see that uh, I always use parentheses. I always use parentheses. So that is what you need to remember. Every time you write interval notation for increasing and decreasing, not ever use bracket. Okay? Don't ever use bracket. So I'm going to put a remark over here. No matter what, it's an open circle or a dot circle or whatever, don't ever use square bracket when you write uh, interval of increasing and decreasing. Never use a square bracket. Okay. Uh, when writing increasing and decreasing. You know, I, I know that I'm writing like this, and 
I know the subject, yes, you guys write it down, but believe me, on the test, someone will commit the mistake. Someone will put the freaking bracket on my interval of decreasing and decreasing. Believe me, this is the mistake a lot of students uh, commit. Okay? So try not to, okay? Try not to. Never. Even though that I have a dot here, even though that I have an open dot here, just use parentheses. Never use closed bracket. Okay? Never. Alright. So I give you another example. And I want you to get together. So go ahead and get to the group of maybe. Uh, can you move over there? You uh, want to move with them? Three over there and go ahead and turn around here. So two, uh, three of you can uh, move in here. And three of you over there. Uh, you can join uh, over there, uh, Jamet. Okay, you can join over there. I'm going to give you a function, a graph. Well, and I want you to uh, stay increasing and decreasing, okay? I want you to discuss together uh, with each other. He puts you with that. Okay, something like this. Okay, so uh, here's uh, two, over here is three, over here is five, over here is uh, seven. So I want you to find increasing interval and decreasing interval. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, talk to each other now. So make sure you know how to write increasing and decreasing interval, okay? Alright, go ahead, uh, discuss. We have uh, maybe uh, 10 minutes, and then I'll go ahead and fix the problem.
Same thing, by increasing and decreasing. Yeah. 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 
Yes, we talk about it is, it is, we talk about the domain. Yes, we don't want to include that in the domain. But this is increasing and decreasing. <laughs> that's why. I, that's why I say that the domain is an open circle of close. You just use parameters. Okay. So it goes infinity. Because we talk about increasing and decreasing. So five to seven or five to seven. Uh, five to three seven. You can split it up 5 to 7 and 7 to 15, that's fine. You can jump from 5 to 15, that's okay. Because we, talk, we don't talk about domain. If you talk about domain, yes. But this is increasing. At 0 to 2. And no, because it's not increasing, they just say. Yeah, you keep, yeah, this is keep increasing until 3, you know. So you cannot say from 0 to 2. 0 to 2 is increasing, yeah. but you have to do another part 2 to 3 if you want to do like that. Okay. Otherwise, you just go right 0 to 3. It's much easier. Zero you, do, zero, zero, you do 0 to 2 and 2 to 3? Three. Three. That's fine. 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 Basically, Go ahead and discuss the second example, guys. And You can do that negative infinity to negative two and a negative two to zero. Yes. Yeah. As long as you have the uh, <laughs> negative, you can just find them. Yeah. No, you're fine. If you want to speed it up like that, it just, just, just take more time to write. Yeah. You have to Can you explain why this is eight? The max seven. Yeah, eleven ten. Because it's on the x axis. <laughs> I thought when you put the dot yeah. there, he was like, so yeah, I got it. Is the group over there is okay? First Any questions? The first good. One I was good. Yeah, easy, right? Easy. Easy. It makes so much sense. Just lined up in seven. I was literally just nodding with the guy. Like, yeah, 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 no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you have to replace that. Okay? So all you know is replacing the gas. Oh, yeah. He's got all the gas. So that's where we're all going to be at. If it's the same, if it's turned out, if you replace the same, if it's turned out to be the same, then you know what it's going to be. If it's the opposite, then it's off. But if it's neither, no, it's not even, if it's not uh, the same, no, is it the uh, opposite, then you wouldn't have So what if you give us a negative <laughs> left side? So basically yeah. saying that... You mean negative here? Yeah, yeah. 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 what if you already give us a negative left side? Or would that no, we don't, we never have that. We never have that. We always have that. Yeah, we never have negative left side. You read it. 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 Alright. Everybody got a second demo? Yeah. Alright. Let's do another one. No. Oh, no. Alright, let's do this. Increasing. Anyone can tell me where it's increasing? Zero four. Zero four? Eight to ten. Eight to ten. Union. Eight to ten. Then? Then that's it, right? How about decreasing? Seven to eight. Seven to eight. Union. 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 Eleven to infinity. Oh. How about between four and seven? He's gone. He's gone. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's zero increase or decrease. So if I ask you where the part, where the, uh, where the part of the domain, the function is constant, you're gonna write four to seven. And then ten to eleven. Yeah.
If the function is increasing and decreasing, and sometimes it's constant, sometimes it's uh, more interval of increasing than uh, interval of decreasing, it will create uh, hues and valley, right? You see that? It's like this is a valley, and this is a hue and a valley, something like that. Okay. And when it creates hue and valley, it gives you a highest point and the lowest point. Okay. The, higher, the highest point in mathematics, we call it the maximum point. And the lowest point, we call that minimum point. Okay. But there are different, two different types of maximum and minimum. So on the uh, third part, I'm going to wrap it here. Uh, I want to talk about maximum and minimum minimum point of the function. <coughs> so there are different type of maximum and minimum. The first type is the absolute max mean. So we need to know we need to know what is absolute max. What is absolute mean? Okay. They have a, a official definition for that. Uh, but um, with my experience, I just think that if I go through um, the theory too much, you guys probably it's hard for you guys to understand. So I'm not going to give you the definition, but I show you how to find absolute max and absolute mean, so that on the test you know how to do it. Okay. So what is absolute max and absolute mean? When I in this word absolute, absolute, it means the highest point, right? And it doesn't matter if it, uh, if we have a hues. Or we have value. As long as you can see the highest point of the function, that will be the absolute. Okay? Uh, let me go straight to the example. I have a function like this. Okay, let's draw another function with me. I have, well, again, I can have something like this. Stop here. Okay, there's no arrow. You mean to stop there. Let me just extend it. And open the circle here. There's no arrow here. So I have the value, the coordinate here is um, negative 1, and here is um, 6. Negative six. <coughs> over here is one. Over here is two. Here is three. Here is uh, four. Okay. And here I have coordinate is uh, eight. And this one is uh, eight here. So this is around six. So we just learn how to find absolute maximum. Okay, we don't care about the definition in this case anymore. It's more confusing when we talk about definition. Because if definition actually, if you're really interested in uh, mathematics, and you see that definition again in a very high advanced level of math, which is you don't need, in my opinion. Okay. So I want to find, question, I want to find absolute max and mean point of the function. And <coughs> okay. Now you look at the graph. Can you tell me which one is the highest point of the graph? Six. Uh, six or eight. 
Six inches, the coordinates. So every time they ask you the point, absolute max and mean point, okay, you have to write it in order pair. And Stephen just told me that this, the, the point, the highest point here, the coordinate is eight and six. So absolute max uh, will be eight six, eight comma six. So this is auto pair, okay? This is not interval. Max coordinate x component eight six. Which one is absolute mean? Negative one, negative six, because that's the lowest point. Okay, it's absolute mean. Negative one, negative six. Oh my god, this is too easy, guys. Come on, just look at the graph. Oh my god, so easy. Okay, so everybody clear with the absolute maximum. Okay, now let's consider on the second part. Let's take a look at. Uh, we have another type of maximum. We call that uh, relative. Max mean <coughs> So what is relative and what is absolute? What's the difference between those? We're going to uh, tell the difference. We're going to tell the difference between these two concepts. Okay? And I'm going to use the same graph. Okay? I'm going to use the same graph. Question 5. Relative max mean point answer so relative mass you look at this way relative mass is the top of the hill relative means is the bottom of the valley. Where is the hill? Two. Two, two. This is the hill, right? Mm -hmm. So this is at the top of the hill. So the coordinate here will be? Two, two, two. two. So this is relative max. Two, two. Where is the bottom of the valley? Negative two, four. Four, four negative two. two <laughs> Relative mean. Uh, four negative. Okay. So remember, so I put a remark here. Okay. So relative max is top of the hills. We probably have a lot of hills. In, in this graph, we have only one here. Okay. And relative mean is bottom of the bag. The bottom of the bag. It's much easier for you to understand like that. Okay. However, sometimes, sometimes the relative max is also the absolute max. For example, if I look at the, this graph. Oh, let me see. Probably, no, I cannot use that. Uh, I have the function that looks like this. I have uh, one hill, two hill. How many values we have here? One value. Okay, so this is, let me see, this is two, this is uh, four, four, this is five, this is uh, six, six, uh, negative one, level, this is uh, eight, and this is uh, six. Okay. How many? Uh, how many hills we have here? Two, two hills. 
We have two hills, okay, right here and right here. Okay. So if we have two hills, we have two relative max. We have two relative max. So relative max here will be, what is the coordinate of the hill, top of the hill? Six. Eight, six. Eight, six. Okay, and and four four. Don't use union, okay? Because this is a point. We don't use union. Okay. How about relative means? Uh, six negative one. Six one because that's the bottom of the valley. Yeah, six negative one. Now I'm gonna ask you, what is the absolute? It's 8-6. Okay, she said it's 8-6. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody agree with that? Yeah. yeah. But I'm both. Yeah, it's pretty right? Okay. Go back to the definition. Our own definition of absolute. Absolute map is the highest point of the function. Which one is the highest point? 8-6. So we have only one absolute map. 8-6. <laughs> and you see that? In this case, absolute max and relative max is the same. Yes. You can have two relative max though. If they're the same height, then yes. We we do have two relative max. How? No, but I'm talking about, for example, what if uh, what if the first one would be the higher max. four six as high as the other one? Yeah, we have both. Oh yes. Okay. Yes. If if the function is moving up like this, you mean like this? Yes. I, I, I then we do have two relative max, two absolute max. Yes. Yes. Okay? But I mean that may have been. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in this case you see this absolute max is the high point with A C. Yes. On the first one, is okay. that second where it goes up? Is that a, is that considered a hill even though it doesn't finish all the way going Because right I stopped right here. Yeah, is it still considered a hill? No, it? no hill. Okay. Then how do I know it's a hill? Because it just decreases. Yes, it increases and decreases. Come on, okay. it's, it's a hill, check. right? A hill, come on, a hill. What a hill means? No, we have to go back to English. It's a hill. <laughs> just check it. What's it, Valley? This is Valley. Silicon Valley. I don't know, it looks like this or not. I've never been to California. <laughs> Okay, so this is not a hill. This is a hill. This is a valley. Okay, so we have two hill, one valley. The next question. What is absolute mean? Wouldn't it be the negative? Negative, negative, negative infinity? infinity? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, but it's not a point. It's not, that's not a... Then is it There is not. There's none. Okay, someone agree with that? Or uh, anybody? It's only one. It's only one. Six negative one. Six negative one. one is absolute mean? Yeah. No, okay, let's go back to the definition of absolute mean. Absolute mean. It's the lowest point. It's the lowest point. It's the lowest point. Is it negative infinity? Do you think second one is the lowest point? No, because the arrow is going down. Because the arrow is going down. I'm looking at the body. I'm looking at the body. Because yeah, the arrow is going down. And we cannot define, we cannot define absolute mean because it keeps going yeah, down. Yeah. I don't know, going, I don't know where it goes. Go to hell, maybe. Okay? So we don't have it. None. Oh, no. We don't have it. Okay, everybody clear. I'm gonna give you another graph. We have oh, we have ten minutes. I'm gonna make a graph. Yeah, you're gonna work on a graph. Yes. What if one of the arrows was a point? What if one? Arrow? What if one arrow? Let's see. It would still be. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. What if this over here stop here? Okay, which one you want to ask? Absolute min. Absolute min? Absolute min. The arrow is still going down. We still don't have it. Both of them have to be going down. But do you think that this point is uh, relative mean? No. No, no, no because is this is the bottom of the valley? No. 
No. It's not about a mathematic. So this be it's not about a mathematic. It's not relative. Ask him. I'm not asking. Ask him. You know what, like um, a like candy cane looks like? Yeah, a hook. Would that be a hook if it went like this and it stopped right here? I mean, like that? Yeah. Is that a hill? Right here? Yes. It is. Okay. It is. It is a hill. Okay, I love it. But if it's just like that, <laughs> it's no hill. <laughs> because you don't go down. But there's a battery. Come on, come on. You guys don't have the definition of the hill? <laughs> this is a hill, guys. It's a hill. Hill? Battery? Okay. That's not really good. So if you're climbing up, if you're climbing up, and you climb down. If you climb up and you stop right there, you cannot climb down and it's not you. Jump. <laughs> <I know. laughs> clip for somewhere else. Clip for maybe, yeah. Okay? All right, let me give you the example, guys. Let's practice. Let's see. So I want for this problem, I want you to state relative max, relative means, absolute max, absolute mean. I also want you to state domain and range of the function. So this is my function. So, so like I can state, not like, a point. you can uh, state um, ten and whatever here. It can't okay. be um, relative. Yeah, no, no, I can say like five and whatever though. Uh, five? You know no, because it's lower. For relative though, for like relative. For relative, uh, this is not for relative. This is not. Uh, it's not a hill, guys. Because we're going horizontally, it's not a hill. Okay, even if there's a, a constant in between, it doesn't. So over here it's not relative because it's going up, but it's going hard, so it's not new. Okay, cool. okay. Look, 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 at, look at this picture again. It's just like a big picture. Look what it is, it's going up and down. Is it going up and down? Yes. No, it's going up and down. It's going down. It's not going down. This is not new. No. So what do we have for this? Over here? Min. What do we have for this? This right here, right? This? We have 
but we do have rel uh, relativity. This is important. This is the bottom <laughs> of the bag, right? Yeah, that's short. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Come on, guys. We have family. Get together. Go ahead, do this. Oh, it's like well, time for you to draw this? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm just looking at the board. I'll just take a picture yes. and then just do it. <laughs>